Lewis Gray. Good afternoon. You consume a ridiculous amount of content online. Twitter is very important to you. What percentage of the tweets that you read on a daily basis would you say are relevant to you? Well, it depends what time I'm checking in and on which list I'm looking at. But probably, I think on a good day, about 10 to 20 percent max is oh. relevant. And so what does relevance mean to you? Is it content, context, source? Well, those are all correct. Uh, basically, a source is really first thing. So you want to see who's saying this. You know, if you and I have a personal relationship or I trust your content, I'm going to absolutely take a look at it harder. I'm really looking at Twitter like I look at Google Reader or any other social network for links. I want to find out good news that's just been written, what's been sent out, and I'm going to click through and find it. Often the personal status updates, where you are, where you're checking in, where you're having lunch, I don't care. And the more that floats in, the less relevant it becomes. And so I'm looking for really good content as fast as it gets to me. So what about filtering? I mean, uh, there's just it's a fire hose. It's a it fire hose. And, 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 and relevance of Twitter is, is hard. How important is finding a tool to fix that for you? It is important. I think uh, traditionally I've had to go elsewhere, outside of Twitter, to find that relevance. I've used Front Feed for a long time because you can set up lists and uh, sort it by specific people. Uh, Twitter's new list function is a good product as well. You can go through and find the top tech bloggers I've chosen by hand. Robert Scoble's done a lot of work to find good Twitter lists. And obviously you have the new My Sixth Sense application for the iPhone, which lets you find good relevance both on RSS and tweets. So. Well, you just answered my question, because I was going to ask you about a tool, but you just named a tool. I did. Thanks a lot. Apologize for that. That's all right. So um, what about friends and uh, and the other kinds of filters? I mean, is, is it from whom it comes important to you? It is, absolutely. I think this is something that we all know, is that if you see an update on Facebook from your mom, it might be important. If you see an update from somebody who you went to high school with, it's probably less important. And that's what I look at when I look at things like Facebook, where they're trying to say, who did you used to be connected to? I'd rather be finding out who I should be connected to in the future. And there are tools that really help that way. I think uh, you want to take a different approach, rather than looking backwards in time and look forward in time to who's going to help you tomorrow. Well, Louis Gray, thank you, and uh, your hair looks great. Thank you.